Hi, this is Josh from Shama Sandals and we're going to take a look at the mailbag today and see what's in there, see if we can answer some of your questions. So this first one comes from Todd. He says, first run was easy pace, around 8 minutes 30 seconds, uh, 5 miles. So he did a 5 mile run, uh, doing 8 minutes and 30 seconds apiece, sounds like. On concrete, greenway path. And I'm coming from five fingers. The sandals sound loud or I'm hitting the ground or am I hitting the ground that hard? On second half, kept mixing in strides and sounded much more quiet. So I'm landing hard. Either way, love the feel of the sandals. Any tips would be great. I mostly focus on lifting my feet, not landing. Maybe I need a more circular motion. Thanks for the Labor Day special, Todd. All right, Todd, well, first of all, you're welcome for the Labor Day special. Um, I'm glad you were able to take advantage of that. And, you know, we've been seeing you on YouTube for a while, so it's, uh, it's good that you finally made the move uh, to Shama Sandals. Um, let's see, as for landing hard, so this is like a really, I think this is a really big, really complex uh, question. We want to be careful when we're, we do want to think about lifting our feet. And when you think about lifting our feet, we're thinking about um, contact time on the ground. So one of the most important things to do, because when we run, we have three times body weight on our, on our joints, right? On our knee and our ankle and all that, like each time we take a step when we're running. So what we want to do is reduce the amount of time that we're on the ground. So um, the, the, the shorter the amount of time your foot is on the ground in that cycle, that means you're gonna have a longer recovery time and then the time that your foot is actually on the ground, that's a shorter amount of time that you're having three times body weight. Okay, that's good, that makes sense to me anyway. So then the next thing is, this is kind of tricky, what we're actually looking for when we land or we actually want our leg to be pretty firm. Um, it's, uh, I had my physical therapist talk to me about this and uh, he's a doctor of physical therapy and he's, he's pretty awesome. He's all into the uh, minimalist running thing and all that. But he said, you want to think of your leg as a non-compliant spring. So you want your leg to be like, so a non-compliant spring is a stiff spring, and that means as soon as it hits something, it's gonna wanna bounce away from it. So we wanna be thinking about a good, it's actually like a, it's kind of weird, it's kind of counterintuitive, but kind of a stiffer leg. We wanna think about a, um, a quicker, shorter strike. Um, we're gonna to wanna to shorten the length of our, our stride with our arms, and, um, all of those things, that quicker time is going to probably help uh, with that lant loud sound when we're landing. Okay, Todd, uh, this is for you. I wanted to give you a little visual representation of what I was talking about. So, like I was saying, every time we, we are running and we step, we've got three times body weight on our um, hips and knees and feet, right? And so the idea is that we want to reduce the amount of time that we spend on the ground so that A, that amount of time or that, that body weight is, um, is reduced. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the amount of time that the body weight is pressing on the joints is reduced. And then the shorter that time is, then the longer the time we have in a cycle to recover. And so less time and more recovery is going to keep us fresher. Well, how do we do that? Well, one of the things we have a tendency to do, I have a tendency to do, in fact, this is one of the things I have to work on, is actually being a little stiffer when I land. So when I hear you talking about you know, working on picking up your feet, I, I hear that. One of the things I get caught in, we all have little problems with our running form and technique. I tend to step I go a little farther down than I need to. I was talking about, my therapist mentioned it, a non-compliant spring. So when you think of a non-compliant spring or a stiff spring, it's, if you were to throw it at the ground, it would instantly bounce back up. 
So it's not so much the lifting as it actually you want to get a little bit stiffer when you land. So as soon as you're stiff, you're ready to bounce up again. I watched my, my seven-year-old daughter run and she kind of gets into this thing sometimes where she'll almost like bounce on her feet and she's got really strong little legs and I can see that, uh, that principle in play with her. But um, so again, for me, when I step and I drop too far down, I end up with patella issues because this longer stride means my patella is gonna be traveling farther um, each time uh, it's gonna go farther across my knee and I don't want it to go across my knee any more than it has to. In fact, that's the whole thing with running is we're trying to keep all our, all our energy and our momentum focused forward. We don't want it leaking out left to right. And we usually get into trouble the sooner we, um, the, the longer we stay on the ground and uh, the less, you know, the more we try and uh, protect ourselves, I'll say. So anyways, think about it again. You want that thing coming down nice and stiff so it's ready to bounce up again. And um, I try to worry about that, that I'm running right and less maybe about the sound of the sandals. But I think the, the better you, you do with that over time as you get used to the sandals, the sound will kind of fade away a little bit. Okay, that was a long explanation. I hope that was helpful. Anyway, so there you go, Todd. All right, the next question comes from Gon. Gon says, hi, I have a pair of chargers which I absolutely love. That's awesome, so glad you like them. Um, I walk and run on road five to 10K. All right, so he's mostly using them for the road. He says, I need a new pair of sandals, so I was thinking about buying the Warriors this time because the Warriors are so unique and extremely minimal, which is what I'm looking for. I'm an experienced barefoot runner. My question is, would you recommend the Warriors for road running, for road walking, or do you strictly recommend them for the trail? I would be happy if in your answer you will address the durability of Warriors on road in comparison with the Chargers. Okay, no problem. Um, so let's take this one at a time. Um, so as far as the Warriors on the road, they are fine on the road. There is no problem with them on the road. Um, this last year, so I've mostly been running in Chargers the last probably five or six years. I've really liked the more flex material. It's got a little bit of give and I just have always enjoyed it. Um, I've run in Warriors from time to time, uh, but this year I had to you know, rework the lacing system and I really wanted to make sure that the new lacing system worked with the Warriors. So I spent the whole year running in the Warriors. I mean, I ran everywhere. I did runs from four miles up to 13 miles on the road um, in the Warriors and then on trails too. And the Warriors are fine. Um, the thing about the Warriors is they just don't give you as much there's not as much give to them. They don't have as much, um, there's just a little bit of give in that, in that uh, charger material that you just don't get with the Warriors. That being said, they're gonna shape to your feet. They're super flexible. And I think when you said, uh, I'm an experienced barefoot runner, I think that's like the, the key. Do you know how to run barefoot? Um, if you really like ground feel, you're going to get more ground feel with the Warriors. So they're fine. They're great. And I'll just say that when I ran in them on the road, when my foot strike was good and my cadence was really good, they're great. I mean, they're right there with you. Um, so they're totally up for the task. And then going now, uh, speaking about durability. So, um, I would say regarding durability, they are just as durable or more durable than the chargers. Uh, that's because they're made, the, the soling material is made from a harder compound. It's a little more rubbery is how I, I try to describe it. Whereas the charger material is like a microcellular, it's like a really dense neoprene. So the Warriors, yeah, they're gonna last, they're gonna last longer um, and they're gonna give you more ground feel. Uh, and they're really for somebody that, uh, you know, can kind of put them, put them through their paces and like put up, push the limits of, of the minimalist thing. Cause they are, they've got to be one of the most minimalist sandals on the market, uh, which we're really proud of. Cause we're all about minimalist uh, walking and running and hiking. So 
I hope that answers your question, Gon. And um, yeah, definitely give the Warriors a try. I think you'll, you'll be pretty happy with it. So see you next time on The Mailbag. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.